Hi everybody and welcome back to Well That's My Dog. Now today's video is all about how to gain control of an uncontrollable dog. It sounds hard and it sounds difficult and it sounds like I've gone absolutely crazy, but it is definitely possible. We're gonna be sharing a few little top tips that you can take into account when, or if you are ever taking control of an uncontrollable dog. Let me know down below in the comments, is your dog an uncontrollable dog? Have they ever done something naughty? Are they a really, really well behaved dog? Let me know down below in the comments. But let's just get started. <coughs> So obviously you want to make sure you have as much control of any dog pretty much. You as a human, you are the owner of that dog or you are the sort of more authoritative figure towards that dog. So you need to make sure you can gain control of the dog, especially if they are your dog and you're wanting to train them. If you don't have control over that dog, you're just not gonna be able to train them properly. So the first top tip is to use an extendable lead. Honestly, I see so many people on a walk and they have a normal length lead, but some dogs need that little bit of freedom, but still that the owner can take control of them. So an extendable lead where they can go quite far is the perfect way to let your dog feel like they've got control when actually you as their owner have it. Now the second top tip is to make sure your dog knows their name. Obviously, if you are trying to gain control of a dog that you don't know their name, it's gonna be extremely difficult. For example, if I went to the park with Milo and Milo didn't know his name, if he started to run off, I have no way of getting him to come back and shout his name because he doesn't know his name. So that is another great step to gain control of that dog. Now, another good tip, which we actually used with Milo quite a lot, is the word quiet. If Milo was outside going absolutely crazy and barking like mad, we can say quiet and he will calm down a little bit. This is a great way to gain control, especially when your dog is outside. Their outside is normally the time they have to be free but making sure that you have a little bit of control with that by making sure that they aren't barking when you want them not to bark and that is also a great idea when wanting to control them now another good way is to just use a dog toy as a distraction use a dog toy or a chew stick or just something that will keep your dog occupied for an amount of time especially if you want to control them or get them to be quiet for a few minutes and then if you are finding that your dog is uncontrollable because they are always excited and wanting to run around it might just be something simple as you need to take them on a walk or you need to exercise them My goes on plenty of walks every single day he gets about probably two two and a half hours worth of walking every single day and he's constantly on the go in the house so he can chill like this like milo is a really really well trained dog he doesn't lose control a lot he's very much a obedient dog and i think that is because we do take him on walks we do exercise him i mean look at him right now he's actually using one of our pillows to sleep on <laughs> so milo is definitely a basically just a perfect dog in my eyes. And that is pretty much it. They're the only really tips that I can give you guys on how to gain a little bit more control of an uncontrollable dog. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and also Twitter. All of them are at That's My Dog. So really, really easy to find. We post lots of memes and things on there. So make sure you're giving us a follow. Don't forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the middle here. And you can also check out our previous video which is all the way on the other side of the screen if you would like to learn more and more about your dog. Thank you all so, so much for watching and me and Myla here. I'll see you next week for next week's video. Bye.